Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya slivers, and um, looks like we have kind of a a weird hand here. Uh, it's not the worst, though. We'll keep it. We'll go mountains, uh, forest into Ash Barrens. We'll see what happens. And they're playing peat bog. Okay. Doesn't really change anything. Let's just pass. Uh, so this could be Mono Black Devotion, which of course we always have to have that matchup. So let's see what they do. They're gonna strip my hand somehow. They may. What are you gonna play? Oh. Well, that's not gonna be good against us. Holy cow. That's really not good. Uh, I guess we'll go planes. Put that in our hand. We're gonna have to Ash Barrens for another forest. That's not good. It's not a pretty way to start things. Uh, yeah, let's just pass, I guess, and see what they do. If they have another land destruction, then we're gonna, we're gonna be in some trouble. Let's see what they do, though. Mm, they're going for it. Dark Ritual? Okay. They're going for it. Could see a turn two, uh... Where was this? Turn three? Rancid Earth. Oh my gosh, dude. That's crazy. So not good. At least we're getting, at least we're getting mana back. But like this is bad. Holy cow! Some good land destruction going on. That's for darn sure. Okay, we need to draw lands. That's not a land, but that will help us eventually if we can untap with this. And we can at least play out Gem Hide and Plated. Just get a board going. Not looking pretty, though. They're going all in on this land destruction. Yep. Okay. Wow. I think we're screwed. I think we're screwed. I think we're very screwed. Oh yeah, we are, we are super screwed. Getting there for poison if they take out our mountain. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing we can really do at this point. It's pretty bad. Uh, we'll see if they go for another land destruction. Just get a little more information on their deck. Do you have any sort of like mono black aspects removal? Or are they all land destruction? If it's land destruction, fine. That's fair. You know, it's not really the mono black control that we're used to so it's more just mono black land destruction still controlly but at least it's different than what we're normally up against pretty crazy here we go okay sign in blood <clears throat> I was going to say they could still go Dark Ritual into another land destruction, but didn't attack in. We got a forest, so that's pretty dang good. So let's go Gem Hide, get out our plated, and establish a board here. All right, it's not over till it's over, you know? Uh, I just hope our Gem Hide can survive. That's going to be pretty crucial to this matchup. They may be all out of land destruction, but uh, they may have some removal now. Sacrifice a creature. Well, I ain't getting rid of my gem hide, and I'd like to keep my plated around because it's a better defense.
Okay. This is good. This is great. This is great. Uh, we're just going to dump our hand here. Put down a lot of stuff while we while we can. And just set up for future turns. Now we got three fours. Pretty hard to deal with. We'll have a hunter next turn. And we can start swinging in. Ooh, that was sketchy land destruction. If we if we didn't have those uh, Ash Barons, man, uh, we would be screwed. And we got pretty lucky with that forest draw too. That kept us right in line. So some uh, some lucky top decks, but uh, I think we're playing it pretty smooth here now. Four cards in hand for them. I mean, I'm still concerned about what they could do, but holy crap, they concede. Well, dang. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so, Relic. What else do I want? You know, Blade back. Um, Standard Bearer seems reasonable. Hunter isn't that important, so we can cut him. Hmm. We could s stick with the striking, I guess. Do we cut the blade backs entirely? Hmm. No, I guess we don't have to. I think blade backs. Hmm. Blade backs pretty bad. I think if they're going for huge land destruction, we're gonna have trouble emptying our hand unless we get a gem hide out anyway. So it might be pretty hard to go hell bents. Uh, so maybe we just cut them. Let's cut them. Let's just cut them completely in this one. I don't know if that's the right move, but uh, that's what we're going to try. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, well, we got plenty of lands, uh, so I like this hand. This is, this is fine. Definitely go planes, plated, put our standard bear, potentially. See what we draw. We will keep. Wait and see what they do. Pete Boggs starting things out fresh. Got a relic. That's nice. I'm gonna wait to play that right now. Just gonna play out creatures that can pressure our opponent. Especially if they're going for our lands. It's a bit difficult. So we'll see if they go land destruction. Dark ritual, sure. All right, yep, there goes one of our planes. Well, we're gonna get pressure out still. I think that's just the best thing to do at this point. Pressure, poison, let's do it. And hopefully we're not completely screwed. They got three cards left, so Maybe we'll get lucky and they won't have a handful of land destruction, but they seem to like that game plan, so If they hit the planes, uh, we're gonna start putting down a relic Looks like they are winding up for that. Okay, draw two cards. Sure I don't think they have a, a land destruction card for two mana I could be wrong about that. I don't remember. I think they were all three mana plays Sacrificing that peat bog, though. What are they going to do? Chainers. Hmm. Alright, we're going to we're gonna try to go for that poisonous. That poisonous is kind of what we have to bank on right now. We're drawing lands. That's good. Now, do I play a standard bearer or do I want a winding way? I kind of want a winding way. Ugh, I don't know, man. 
Let's uh let's attack first. Honestly, I think it might be hmm. We're gonna standard bear. We're gonna do winding way next turn with a third land, so maybe we can have another one drop we can throw down. I think it's better just to have creatures on the board. Especially one that'll make them target it and not our creatures. Dark Ritual, here they go. Hit my planes, please. Okay, Thorn. That's a good card. That does stop us for quite a bit. <laughs> Unfortunately. And they become the Monarch. Not pretty. Alright, what's Winding Way? We got Lead the Stampedes. Get a Gem Hide. That's pretty good. Good. Start making them exile stuff. Pass the turn. Can't uh, swing into this thorn, unfortunately. More mana's good. Do not hit our forest. Gurmog. A little too late on that relic. Okay. Other winding way is good. So we're going to play the gem hide. And yeah, we're going to play the muscle this turn. And then we're just going to start filling up our hand every turn. Can't attack. Let's go ahead and exile another card there. They're pretty far away from that flashback, so if we need to, we can crack that relic, get rid of that Changer's Edict, but it's not super priority right now. Alright, destroying my forest, good target, but thankfully we have gem hide, so as long as we don't kill our gem hide, we'll be alright. We just really need some big plays. Probably lead the Stampede. So much card draw for them. Why well, we keep getting refreshers? Ah, uh, there we go. All right, cool. All right, so we can only play like one other thing this turn, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna go ahead and play our Lord out. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, make them exile something. Just need to keep getting more lords. Four cards in hand for them. Holy cow. Peep Bog. You gonna keep taking out my lands? We got another Gurmog on the way. Might be another Gurmog. Yup. Well, Junior's Edict is bye bye. Uh, so we can probably crack this relic now. If we if we need that card draw. They skip their attack. Pretty foolish. Getting lots of land. Alright, so I think I just want to find lords. 
So let's do lead the stampede again. Okay. Find lots of lords, which is excellent. So we can put down a bunch of them. All right, now we can block these Gurmogs if we want to. All right, cool. We're swinging back around here. This is at least more of an interesting game of mono black control, you know? Draw two cards, lose two life. Let's go ahead and try to pop that right now if we can. They're at 12. Yeah, we could, we could almost kill them. We can kill them. All right, well, let's do this so we can get rid of that chain, Chainer's Edict uh, hopefully pretty soon here. Get rid of Viverlint. I still want the Standard Bear up. Or do I? I think we're stopping them from targeting anything right now. They could have more removal in their hand and they don't want to just toss it to the Standard Bear. Uh, let's see here. I can block three things. It's tough because I could do the Standard Bear. And then we have Lethal unless they have some other form of removal. Which they could. I think we're going to do the standard bearer. I, mm, that's tough, man. That's really tough. They got three mana up. They could do the destroy non-black creature. Kill one of our lords. All right, we're, we're going to have to do Viverlint. It's protecting our board. Even if it takes another turn to be able to kill them. I think I will swing in next turn, though, too. Well, potentially. See what we draw. Put down these flankings. These flankings are actually going to come in quite handy. Yeah, I think that was the best move. Sorry it took so long for me to decide that, but I think that is the best move. We put down the double sidewinders. We can swing in. They have to chump block. Yeah, I, th I like that because it, it, this is just protecting our all our lords from any destroyed creature, creature cards. That's all it took. That's all it took. Well, thank you for a more interesting mono black deck. I appreciate it. Uh, it was a little bit different trying to play around, the, around that land destruction, but we are still able to do it once again. Um, yeah, game was in the bag for sure. Uh, they just couldn't draw the right thing, and I think we made the right move. I think if we had tossed that standard bear, they could have uh, shot down a lord or something and made it more difficult for us. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on that video for the classic weekly mono black control, but this time it was at least a little different. Uh, so make sure to subscribe for more nice slivers coming up, and we will see you guys in the next video.